three. You know what? The man must stay up night simply trying to figure out ways to give us our damn summons. Mine came in the mail. Mm. Mine came with breakfast. Oh, yeah? Well, I got you both beat. All right, today I decided it's my day off. No summons for me, period. So I wake up while it's still dark, and I sneakily creep across the floor, cut the light on just long enough to pull on my pants, my sweater, and my jacket, because it's kind of chilly, right? So then I creep out the fire escape. And someone's waiting, and they hand you the summons. No. No, it's painted on the sidewalk. No and no. I go three blocks out of my way and get on the subway. OK, it's graffitied on the wall. No, man. I change trains three times. I get off at a stop at random. I go to the payphone, call my girl, we make some plans. And you're sure no one's been following you? Nowhere, no one, no how. And I go to a newsstand so I can buy myself a paper. OK, you take the top paper, you open it up, and there's the summons. Exactly no. I reach deep into the stack, about the 15th paper down, grab that one, pay for it. I turn to go, and the newsstand guy says, what's that on your jacket? Ouch. Oh, that's rough. I'm going to make him buy me a new jacket. <laughs> if he ever shows up, we've been waiting here for an hour, and there's no sign of him. If there were any justice in this world, he would be... Struck by lightning. Hit by a truck. Rolled in honey and tied down outside an anthill. Honey? I saw it in a James Bond movie. If you heard any of that, it wasn't my idea. We were just kidding. Yeah. Except about the honey. Yeah. A high-end art and jewel. A master of the short con and martial arts. A hacker Robin Hood who stole from the rich to give to the poor. The organization's job is to protect the status quo. You three are each the best at what you do. Now you will do it for us. Homing dart. Microprocessors allow the dart to be programmed for a specific target. Say, the color of a policeman's uniform, or this orange. The range of the dart is 2,000 yards. It's tipped with a compound that causes instant paralysis. A remarkable piece of technology. You scared the hell out of us. The point was to deeply impress upon you how serious it would be if this weapon fell into the wrong hands. Yeah, well, so far, the only part of me that's deeply impressed is my bladder. A shipment of experimental military weapons was hijacked in the North Sea three weeks ago. The homing darts were part of this shipment, which is now in the possession of this man. Montgomery Pickett. Ah, he's a high-end fence. Then how come I've never heard of him? because he's into exotic possessions, endangered species, Dead Sea Scrolls. If the man ever bothered to dabble in paintings or jewelry, he'd have warehouses full of them. Excuse me? Well, I used them once to um, do an online diversion of a truck full of stereos. Oh, you mean you stole them? I traded them for a truck full of refrigerators, which I passed out to people who couldn't afford them. Mm, I get it, Robin Hood. Everything we did was done electronically. He never had any idea I was on the other end of the transaction. Every undercover agent who's tried to get into business with Pickett has failed. He's maniacally careful, always on the move, and he keeps the location of his constantly changing inventory constantly changing. All right, so you want us to grab this Pickett guy and a boatload full of Buck Rogers gear before these um, homing darts become the latest in gangster chic, right? Correct. You're looking very well today, Jonathan. Why the compliment? It was your birthday last week, wasn't it? Yeah. And there you go. Good luck. Marcus? 
Oh, no, 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 not the C-22 rapid fire 2, no. Listen, it's got to be done. We want to do business with Monty. We need impressive stuff. Why my impressive stuff? Jonathan, look what he's doing. Hey, that's my last batch of magnesium canisters. Everybody's got to make sacrifices. Why can't we just go to him with good old-fashioned hard cash? Because our good buddy Monty Pickett doesn't deal in cash. He won't even accept it. Only thing that wakes him up in the morning? Stuff. Stuff he can hold, touch, feel. Stuff he can trade. To get other stuff. Exactly. Well, exactly what kind of lunatic are we dealing with here? A one-of-a-kind lunatic. His business is his life. Standard vices don't ripple his pond. No drugs, no gambling, and uh, no women. Uh-huh. So you consider women to be a vice? So we contact Monty and exchange all this for the homing dart shipment. It's that simple. Mm -mm. It's never that simple. How do we get in to see Monty? Well, I'll meet with anyone. Getting him to take you to where he keeps the merchandise, that's the tough part. Then let's go and see Pickett. Are you positive we're going to find the world's most exclusive and successful purveyor of stolen goods in this neighborhood? Drop the bags. Guns, locating beacons, watches, pens, any electrical devices go in the case. Clean. Monty's waiting. If you were to look up arms dealers in the dictionary, be their pictures. Got snow tires, big ones, make that you go drive like a Range Rover. Uh huh. Call me back. Look what I got. Dale Murphy misprint. Very rare. Which I will let out the door for 10 Billy Ripken misprints. <laughs> hey, think about this. A dark and rainy night. You're somewhere in outer Moldavia or someplace like that where the food's really crappy. You're up to an nefarious act with much more than money on the line. This You're very is not normal hey. behavior. Now, the dictator, you. Be the dictator. Stand uh, right here. You're yeah, a good-looking guy. Anyone ever tell you that? Handsome. Hey, what are we doing? Rory Jade, take out your guns. You're the assassins. I'm the bodyguard. Now back up mm -hmm. as far as you can. Yeah. Let's go back, 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 back. Check this out. Now charge me. Come on, guys. Give me your best shot. Oh, how am I going to stop them? Come on, guys. My grandmother's fastened the two of you, and she's dead. God bless her soul. Um, could we just? get to this? Yeah, Mr. Pickett, if you've got a second. Not now. You see, I'm rolling off the bad guys with the RM2000, thousand, 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 the only ballistic stun gun in the world that'll shoot electricity over 70 feet. Oh, I wouldn't be uh, firing that if I were you. Relax, I appreciate it. Oh, my God, the guards are only moments away from blowing my head off. What am I going to do? I am terrified. I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to shoot yourself with the only backwards firing ballistic stun gun in the world. 
backwards. That's right. It's a counter-espionage tool. Agents leave it for their enemies to capture them, so they'll electrocute themselves. You see, I can't be familiar with all my stock. Thing was part of a new shipment. Yeah, I took it as shipments, Mr. Pickett. We're interested in getting hold of a couple of cases of homing darts. Yes, of course. You have excellent taste. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the whole shipment ASAP. You know, I don't really like the violent stuff. Reminds me too much of Stallone movies, you know. And there's no way anyone is going to make me sit through the professional again. You know what I'm saying? What do you want for it? Answer is something that tops the other bids I've gotten on that stuff. From the suits he just left? Oh, he's the guy who broke me that other stuff. Nah, he's on other things. So, um, they hijacked the shipment. Don't know, don't want to know. So, what do you got for me? We'd like you to take a look at some stuff, Mr. Pickett. Third gen water penetrating airborne infrared. Attach this bad boy to the bottom of a plane a half a mile in the sky. You can detect submarines at depths of 2,000 feet. Just got replaced by the fourth gen. You could be on the moon, and this thing will detect the soda can at the bottom of Mariana's Trench. All right. Differential GPS. You can hone in on any location in the world down to two feet. Good for two inches. Put it on the side, why not? You can drive it down a Dixie straw. You know, since the wall came down, it's not like all those rusky scientists are just sitting around knocking back the potato liquor. That's all you got for me? That's the best you got? Well, it was nice chatting with you. Hope to do business with you someday soon. Perhaps the, uh... Design of the next generation of CPU chips might interest you. Let's repeat. I hope to do business with you someday soon. Really? How about, uh, how about a miracle? You can, uh, you can really get me a miracle? Of course. Well, <laughs> Whoa! You get me a miracle, I get you your homing darts, everybody's happy! Roof puddle! <sighs> Listen, I'm gonna need some time to get you that miracle. Yeah, right, okay, 24 hours or 48 hours, you know, due to the fact that I got some other bitters on this thing. Like I said, I want that little stuff out of my hands. Okay, hope it works out, Gun. Break, what is your name? Marcus. Marcus, Dale Murphy says hi. Back pocket. A baseball card. What the hell's a miracle? Brand spanking new military weapon. Made infrared, advanced chemical laser. Okay, where do we get one? As far as I know, there is only one. You didn't answer the question. That's because I have absolutely no idea. Somebody else is going to get the homing darts. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. How about not saying the first thing that popped into your mind? Basically, the miracle's a prototype for a fully mobile, laser-armed satellite exterminator. Cool. So the next time my cable company ticks me off just one shot and bam, 500 channels with nothing on. I think the Air Force is more concerned with you taking out surveillance satellites. It was a joke, Marcus. Yeah, well, tell us up front next time, then we'll know how to react. Ooh, tough crowd. Where is this thing located? Slap bang in the middle of a heavily fortified base. We gotta figure out a way onto the base. Doable. And then we have to figure out actually how to control the thing. I mean, you don't just stick the keys in the ignition and go. All the controls are fail-safe and proprietary. Slightly less doable. And then we have to figure out a way to get this recently stolen, one-of-a-kind weapon off the base while everybody's looking for it. Substantially less doable. Yeah. And to top it all off, the Air Force unit attached to the Miracle is holding war games tomorrow. It's kind of a multi-million dollar capture the flag. So, we'll be up against a couple of well-trained platoons armed with M16 sidearms and live ammo, dozen or so tanks, and six or seven light armored vehicles equipped with rapid-fire machine guns. No problem.
Colonel Hodgson, pleasure to have you here. One question, Major Flynn. My visit was to be unannounced. How'd you know I was coming? Ten bucks says the Major doesn't admit to getting the Pentagon encrypted email. I'm not gonna take that bet. <laughs> Say we have our intelligence resources, sir. How long before we able to see this baby in action? Oh, the goal of the war game is to see how well the miracle can maneuver in a battle environment. A red team's mission is to take it away from us while we're on the move. Well, we're scheduled to begin any moment, sir. Very good, Major. Are your troops ready for review? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the penalty for impersonating a military officer on a classified mission? They shoot you. Huh. Thanks for the sugar coating. I was under the impression that the Air Force required its men to shine their boots. Tell me, Sergeant, has that regulation changed? No, sir. I can't hear you! No, sir! You know the only thing you should see when you look down at your boots, Sergeant? No, sir! Yourself, staring back at you. Am I understood, Sergeant? Yes, sir! Now, what is your duty in regard to the miracle? I'm trained to drive the vehicle, sir. And what is the proper procedure for initiation of a terrain move? Nice job, Marcus. Lock down all laser tracking systems, put hydraulics on standby, then enter the engine ignition code, sir! And that code is? 858 Charlie Alpha, sir! Very good, Sergeant. Thank you, sir! Now we need the navigation man. He'd be an officer. Airman. Yes, sir! I said he'd be an officer. Airman, I... I do believe they still serve fruit in the mess hall. Yes, sir. Are you hearing this? Will you get him to stop chewing the scenery? Yeah, maybe you could use one of those big hooks Daffy uses to get bugs off of stage. Major, which one of these men is in charge of operating the miracle? Then you stand right in front of you, sir. At ease, Captain. Yes, sir. But it's Lieutenant, sir. Not if you show me a thing or two out there on the battlefield. Good recovery, Colonel. Now, what is your plan route for today? L7, sir. It's flat, low-lying, with excellent ground cover. And right through the largest marsh in the area. Isn't that right, Major? Marsh? Swamp gas. Sir? Do you realize the havoc swamp gas might play if you fire that weapon? I've never heard of swamp... We're talking skip, gaseous refraction, uncontrollable wildfires, blindness, not to mention the smell. Now, you're up on your latest literature, I'm sure, Major. Are you suggesting a route change, Colonel? I certainly am. We will be taking the miracle through the mountain pass. You heard the Colonel? Yes, sir. Now, if you have no objection, Major, I would like Lieutenant Marshall to join the field exercises as an observer and ride along in the miracle. Of course, sir. Prepare the miracle for immediate departure. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Yes, sir. This war game is on. Great Ten Hut. Two duties. Dismissed. Whenever you're ready, Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Let's get this miracle out of here. Excuse me, ma'am? Just drive, Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Major, I'll move on ahead to the next observation point. You and your men may remain here. Yes, sir. One of my men will drive you. That won't be necessary, Major. Good officer likes to get his hands dirty every once in a while. Understood, sir. You run a nice unit, Major. Thank you, sir. So after Daddy pulled his third tour duty in Nam, he had to have his foot amputated on account of that landmine. Oh, well, that's fascinating. Now, Stan, he signed up in Grenada, got his leg blown off. Friendly fire, but still. 
And you plan to follow in their footsteps. Pardon the pun. I aim to see combat, yes ma'am. Rear escort just pulled off the road, ma'am. Slow down, Sergeant. I'm supposed to keep up with the lead vehicle, ma'am. Regulation 27 Bravo-6, subsection Alpha, clearly states that any military vehicle in active engagement shall not travel faster than 30 miles an hour unless being fired upon. Am I clear, Sergeant? 27 Bravo-6? There's a rectangular pedal by your foot, Sergeant. I recommend you use it. Yes, ma'am. I'm supposed to follow the lead vehicle, ma'am. Deviate from any orders, and you can forget about any chance of future dismemberment in battle. Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Pull over here, Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Just fine. Sorry, look over there. Oh. Sorry, pal. Another time, another place, maybe. Maybe not. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, knock the soldier unconscious, hijacked a multi-million dollar weapon. Usual. Anyone feeling a little under the weather? Now that you mention it. Ah, oh, a little weak in the knees? Sudden shortness of breath. Sharp, piercing pain in the head. Exactly. You know what we need? An, An ambulance. ambulance. And would you look at that? <laughs> That turn, it seems like we're in the middle of nowhere. Next time, I'll ask Monty to choose a rendezvous point near Better Shopping. OK, there's a bump back there that you, you missed. You, you want to go back and try to hit it? Have you took on any other complaints? Yes, but they'll be coming with our comment cards. Now, is there anywhere near here where Monty could have a storage facility? Monty, Monty, Monty. No cave systems? No underground storage facilities, no large buildings. Then what are we doing way out here? We're Alice, and this is his rabbit's hole. Nice to see you. Looks like the real thing. 
Serial number matches. Let's get it in the truck. All set. Drive it on up. Then why would they put the serial number on something that they only made one of? Standard Army procedure. Dictated by the 1911 Congressional Inventory Act. Really? Hell no. Stop asking questions. Weapons. Locating communication devices. We're clean. I trust you. Oh, come on, Rory. I wouldn't pull a fast one on you. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a lipstick, I swear. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> They're clean. Now. In the back. We're sealed in tight. Yeah, maniacally careful, remember? Ah, uh, yes, but, um, not careful enough. Plastic is a beautiful thing. The idea was not to kill anyone. The idea is to get the miracle, the homing dance, and turn them back in. Welcome, shoppers, and congratulations. You are among the privileged few to be doing business with the most sophisticated procurement operation in the world. For our foreign guests, a translation is available on the headphones located beneath your seats. Your trip today will take approximately... Three hours. Please help yourself to a complimentary soft drink at the bar. Wine, beer, and mixed drinks are also available for a nominal fee. You will not be charged for shipping and handling of yourselves to the most sophisticated procurement operation in the world. Please browse through our online catalog and remember all items listed may not be available. This is cool. It's pretty annoying. Yeah, like Monty. Monty's all right. You only like Monty because he gave you a baseball card. What's your point? My point is that he's selling weapons that could hit the street and hurt a lot of people. Wait a minute. Are, are you two actually talking about people taking responsibility for the moral repercussions of their acts? In this particular case, yes. But we reserve the right to reverse our position at a later date. Just checking. The trip wasn't too bad. Oh, no. An entire night in a truck with no bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. You've had complaints. I've had suicides. Nice job. I never met a mid-infrared advanced chemical laser I didn't like. Let's get into it. Rory, get that thing inside. So, uh, homing dots. Let's see them. Yeah, and, um, uh, what about the rest of the shipment? Slow down. You know, I've got plenty of other type of merchandise. Maybe there's something you might need. Pop tents, snowmobiles, a couple hundred thousand milli vanilla CDs. You know, we are in kind of a hurry here. Hey, hey, you know... You do business a certain way, right? Right? So do I. Mind your step. Some demos I did with my high school band, but no 
one's ever requested those. Great big guitar sound, not too strong on the vocals. Hey, you mind if we get this over with? I think. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to my North American Inventory Control Center. I apologize for the lack of polish, but we change storage facilities frequently and randomly to protect me, and more importantly, you, my valued customers. On the off chance I don't have a particular item of interest, I can get it. What about the lost ark? Hey, Jay, do me a favor. Check the stock number on the Ark of the Covenant, will ya? Just kidding. Don't do religion. Don't want to risk offending people, you know what I mean? Vintage Corvette Roadsters, one for every member of the family. Or how about your own railroad car? I've got one out back just like President Lincoln used to ride in or right before they iced the guy. I'll even throw in a little guy who punches tickets. No, thanks. Mine's running fire. So let's leave transportation. Leftover from our triumph in the Midwest. That will be the Middle East, Monty. Whatever. Art. Italian old masters, these guys, oh, they can paint. You know, you put on a layaway, watch an ailing relative's eyes light up on Christmas Day. Fine, let's head over to the Assault Weapons Boutique, shall we? The latest in high-grade urban weapons technology, straight from the folks at U.S. Military R&D. I've got lasers and tasers and lethals and non-lethals, semi-autos, full autos, eye poppers, ear poppers. Like I said, this is a price club for psychopaths. So I'm looking to unload the shipment as quick as I can. Here we go. Ah. Homing dart guns for the original bullet with your name on it. Except no substitutes. Of course, all display models are for sale. Uh, for a discount? For our gold car members, every day is a sale day. Huh? Of course. Now, darts have already been loaded in the semi. I like to keep the ammo separate until we're off the premises. Nothing personal. It's the real thing. What about the rest of the shipment? Oh, right here. Must be my noon. What are they doing here? Augie! I'll be right there, man. He's going to be the buyer for the miracle. What's he want with him? Mm, I don't know. What does that thing do again? Just shoots down satellites. Are you trying to make me feel bad? Coming! Augie, 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 Augie. So, I told you you asked for it, you're going to get it. Oh, we're done. You got your stuff, I got my stuff. It was nice doing business with you. You know how to reach me. That thing isn't going anywhere. Ah! High tech polymer. AKA plastic. Everybody follows orders, nobody gets hurt. Uh, guys, what's, uh, what are you doing? What's going on? A, we're taking the military shipment and the homing darts with us. B, the miracle is going back where it came from. C. Enough with the alphabet. Let me guess. Plastic. Graphite composite. Oh. Also undetectable. We have a different plan. How oh, about trip? Is somebody gonna suggest something? We gonna all stand around killing each other? Yeah. We leave with what we want, and you watch. Next. Look, as far as we know, these graphite composite guns are fake. They don't work. <laughs> Never mind. There's a Tiffany lamp in there. Was. Augie, you know the rules. You shoot something, you're gonna pay for it. I don't believe it. Graphite guns, plastic guns, and you should have upgraded my detectors. I should have done that. Here's my suggestion. You lower your guns. We don't shoot you down like dogs. It's funny. I was just about to say the same thing. My men and I are crack shots. Funny? I was just about to say the same thing. Fine. Let's rock. Did he say let's rock? OK, guys, look, uh, what, we, what we need to do here, we need to negotiate. I see two ways out of this, and one of them closely resembles the end of the wild bunch. And the other way is? <sighs> we give Augie the miracle. Excuse me? What? Give an arms dealer a one-of-a-kind lethal multi-gazillion dollar weapon? Yeah. yeah. Look, uh, we don't want it. Just take it and go. Do whatever you want with it. Leave with a miracle. Just like that. Yeah. Drive it off. Take the damn thing. Use it in good health. No. 
No, uh, no, why, why, why? It's too easy. I could wing you if it'd make you feel any better. You want to give it up so easily? Maybe it's fake. No, uh, come on, come on. I verified it. I believe the expression of a bunch of gift horse in the mouth applies here. Let's look a gift horse in the mouth. I, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. It's a real miracle. Prove it. I want to see it work. Uh -uh. You know the rules. Augie, no, no, no demos on premises. I mean, you don't, you don't go to Macy's, right? And uh, try on underwear there, do you? We're on a flight path to the airport. Planes pass over every couple of minutes. I want to see the miracle take one out. <clears throat> uh, and everyone on the plane? Dies. So? And Augie's got plenty of time to smuggle the miracle out of the country before anyone can put the pieces together. Wait, let me... You're actually, you're gonna, you're gonna um, kill people. That's right, Monty. What did you think people did with your weapons? I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, I, they're just, uh, they're stuff. It's just, uh, it's st stuff. Guess again. Uh, th that's it. No, no way, no, no how. Augie, no, no deal. There's no miracle. There's no uh, shooting planes from the sky. Forget it, forget it. One more word, I shoot you in the throat. Let's roll. What is Jonathan doing? I have no idea. Jonathan, this is a precision instrument. Programming has to be very delicate. It could take hours. Set target coordinates and press enter. <laughs> Sounds pretty simple to me. You know what you're doing, Jonathan. I was listening when you got the instructions, remember? Just keep your eyes on the sky. Absolutely. Keep your eyes closed. It, it fires backwards. Monty! Tell me you saw that. Monty! They're trying to steal the miracle. Detecting oh. task evolution change. Nobody steals some money, Pickett. I'm giving you the phone that Will you calm down? The miracle truck is armored. There's no way we can take it out with plastic bullets. We need ammo. You mean something like this? How do you feel about Toke? Never been a big fan.
So what, what, what happens now? The people we work for will home in on this signal, send some men in to clean up and shut you down. Oh, well, just tell me I get to keep my original lifeboat from the Titanic. What do you need that for? You're 200 miles from water. You know, because I, I look at that thing, I see this uh, little craftsman, and he's building it. And he's, uh, you know, he's got to see 12 people, but he makes it solid enough to, like, hold 30. And I see people out there in the middle of the ocean, I see them surviving. And I see these other people, and they don't make it. And I see this crazy hope, you know, total disaster, but crazy hope. Someone please tell me that there's a moral in there somewhere. Yeah. Don't fill your toy box with someone else's toys. So, um, what, what happened to me? I don't know. Taking you down wasn't part of our assignment. If I were you, though, I would run as fast as I could. Thank you. But I'm out of business. Sorry, Monty. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Excuse me. Business, you know. Hey. What is this? I wonder who this is from. I have never gotten anything like this. Unfortunately, we have. It's uh, a summons from the organization we work for. What? I don't understand this, though. It, it doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. Monty has more connections than we do. Anything he wants, he can get his hands on. Yeah. And now we'll do it for the organization. Organization? What are you, what are you talking about? What... Oh, Monty, you can just forget about running away. And you can forget about that lovely little life? Yeah, because it'll never be yours again. But you get to stay out of jail as long as you play ball with them. Well, what the hell? It's better than going to jail and I can play ball with the best of them. I mean, it's all about relationships, right? I scratch your back. <laughs> I break your wrist. OK, you know what? Maybe not literally, but you get the drift. You know, I am sensing a lot of pent-up tension in your system. I got definitely something you could use. Hmm. Relaxation tapes. Oh, yeah. Get to know me, baby. I could put my hands on 50000 I could let you have for a steal. Whoa.